Hey, what's up everyone? This week I'm going to show you how to trick out your jerk bait uh, the way that I do and it's worked really well for me uh, the past several years. I know it's going to help you out, especially when the water gets really cold. So, uh, with that said, I love Lucky Craft jerk baits. I throw Stacy's, Pointer 78s, Pointer 100s, all those kinds of things. Uh, and even the new Flash Pointer, that's going to be an awesome one. But you know, the real thing that's, that's key with the jerk bait, especially when it's cold and we're getting into that season when the water temps get really cold, uh, pretty much from now all the way until February and March of next year, kind of depending on where you live. But the most important thing to me when that water's cold is that the jerk bait doesn't rise at all. So even though uh, all companies say they make a suspending jerk bait, you know, there may be just a slow rise in that bait. And when that water's below 50 degrees, it's really important to me that that bait either sits perfectly still, nose down always, or it falls a little bit. And the way that I do that, and the way that I make sure all my baits run true like that when the water's cold, is I add uh, split rings to each eye of it. So you can see right there, there's a split ring there and a split ring there, an extra one. And what that does, I know it doesn't seem like a lot of weight. Like you look at it and you go, man, that's no weight at all. It's enough weight to keep that bait perfectly still or make it sink just a little bit. And when those bass are real lethargic and they don't want to chase up, but this bait rather comes to them and they don't have to chase it up very far at all as it's coming to them, uh, that's key. A key, key trick and tip uh, for fishing in cold water with a jerkbait. 